we'll get some time. All right, good morning. Um, we have us do the weekly preview and a little bit more. Uh, let's, what am I going to say? Let's start with sharing my screen here. Oh, shoot, I'm at the, at the muscle test. That's not where we want to be. Let's just go right here. Oh, wait, that's my class. Uh-oh. Now I'm all confused myself. There you go. I've been taking a class myself for making my class more equitable and fair for everybody. So, hey, if you feel like there's unfairness, please point it out to me so I can <laughs> make it better. Uh-oh. I don't know what's going on. My computer's where. Let me stop sharing. There it is. I guess first, what I'd like to ask you guys is um, a pathology project. You guys um, knowing what we're doing? Honestly, no, I have not um, had a chance to read through it. Like I said, I'm a... Okay, no, no, that's all right. Behind. That's all right. Because, you know, you're not the only one. I think everybody's a little bit affected by this. Being behind is not, is not, it's very easy. Um, <clears throat> to fall behind and it's hard to catch up, especially online classes, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. I do understand that. Um, but the, 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 so let's go through it. So what we've done with the pathology project so far is, well, as an end result, what we want, we want to have a video where a group, the group that you're part of, talks about a specific disease that you guys choose like asthma, back pain, heart disease, cancer, stuff like that. And then one of the group members will ask the question, what is the disease? What is the pathology? So you're, um, you're answering, one group member answers that question. Then you do some research on that, go online, um, look around, gather data and collect the data. And then as a next process, what you're going to do is you uh, 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 well, make sure you re you know keep the references, so keep the websites where you pull the stuff from, and then you'll end up um, making a presentation out of that data. So you add pictures together, make it so you ultimately can make a two two ish minute video of what you done of explaining your specific question, and then everybody in the group does one of those three questions. And then we have like a you know six to six seven eight minute video um, of and we can make that through the Zoom. I can show you how to do that if you don't know. Um, and so one member of the group, once you've decided what disease to research, you research one group researches the disease, and then the other member, a second member, asks the question or researches the question: What does conventional medicine do to treat that? Let's say with asthma, you know, you get an inhaler. Uh, and then and, and that's how you get a medicine. Very often it is that you get a medicine. But a third question that is often not really uh, discussed is, and partly, you know, because in medicine, we just don't have time uh, to talk about uh, alternative things that we can do. Not in lieu, but in, in addition, like with asthma, for example, you can be mindful of what you eat in terms of your um, phlegm producing foods like, like um, milk products or or ready stuff and that can help uh, mitigate the symptoms so you don't have to rely on medicine and just keep you know doing the things that also harm you that nobody talks about and so that's what i'd like actually really out of this project is that we uh, have um, an inner a discussion with each other about those kind of things and, and, and each of the group studies one disease and then the other part, the other members of the class in a discussion will watch their video uh, and, 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 and learn something from it and comment it um, and, and comments to it. And so then also we who make the video learn something because we get some feedback on the creation of it. And so therefore it becomes sort of a multi, you know, factorial kind of um, um, project. Is that sort of understandable what we actually really want with this thing yeah I think that makes sense so um I went into the groups function of the canva and it looks like my group member started a discussion 
again, pardon, I'm behind. How are we submitting a topic to you? So this is actually, and my computer is just very slow for some reason. I've had problems with creating a test. That's partially why I'm a little slow. Um, this partially, this is this introduction. So this is what we finished yesterday in terms of where you find this in more, in week 10, where I want you guys to figure out what disease you want to research. And so you connect with the members and you start interacting with them. And number two, who is going to do which question of the, path, of the disease? And so then what you do is in this thing here that I have opened, if I'm in the student view, you, you can start a discussion. Mm -hmm. No, it's not a discussion. It's just an assignment. You return the assignment. And here you go. So you choose the pathology or disease, and then you research it. Okay. And you uh, just allocate who is doing what. Okay. That's what was due yesterday. Yes. Okay. So nothing else yet. All right. Um, so you're not really behind that. All, you know, so don't worry about that. We haven't done. Some people started doing a little research and they sent me a few things and it just put it into this assignment thing. But you can just start collecting data. And then if you have questions, shoot me a text. We can have a conversation on the phone. If you have like, hey, I want to run a few things by you. What do you think about it or so? Is it and possible then, so then that's, it's okay. to share the telephone numbers of the other people in our group so that maybe we can get on text only because... Um, yeah, you know, that is actually... Yes, no, that'd be awesome because I messaged my group in the um, discussion box and nobody messaged me back. There's just so many Okay, so what I will do... I will through on every group. That would be great. I will create group text. I'm just make, I'll just make group text for every group and I was going to do that anyway after we sort of have our conversation today to do the next steps. So well, that trying way, to get in the group with you, but you wasn't in class. <laughs> huh? I was trying to get in the group with the other girl, but she wasn't in class. <laughs> well, who was that? Do you know? This is Grisha. Yeah, but who was the other person? The lady with the baby, with the little baby. I think. Me, Nina? Yes, yes, you. <laughs> hey, what's up, girl? Hey. So, okay, you guys want to be in the same group? Then let's do that. If she can join my group, because I already started doing my research. I just haven't had anybody message me back. I'm in pathology group two with Jessica and Anna. Oh, there you are. Yeah, I see you. Okay. And have you guys connected yet, Nina? I just saw the message from Jessica, but um, I have and not Anna, connected you know with Anna? them. I'm going to give them my phone number in the discussion. But this, if if there's a way for you to share those numbers with us, and it's going to be so much easier. Oh yeah, no, no, absolutely. You know, the, I would do it all the time. My only problem is always is privacy crap, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but 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 I'm basically if I'm sending everybody, I've done that anyway. If I'm sending everybody group texts and that this is group number so what are you doing you know i got to be a little bit more on it myself as well and then i also have talk grisha talk to erica have you talked to erica pablo yeah Is, we've talked in class because she wants to be in your group too yeah no we are in groups together but you haven't messaged me back nobody has messaged me back so i'm like <laughs> oh i'm yeah yeah i know i i have a couple texts i haven't gotten to so i'm gonna put you no i'm gonna put you grisha in the group with nina no i can stay in my same group with erica we're we're doing fine because i already did my research for our topic oh then you guys are okay then we just keep it that way yeah because we just you... need to get on board with communicating with each other okay then what's your topic she wanted to do it like a, a spray calf. calf. Strain. Yeah. A calf strain. Who? For sprain. What? You know when your calf like starts hurting? Oh, a calf sprain. Yeah, like when you pull yeah. a muscle. Muscle, muscle strain. But we're just talking about a the calf. A horse or a muscle strain? Um basically both because i was researching it and i found out that you could catch um a calf sprain while you're sleeping if you um 
overstretch your leg. Okay, good. So we'll do that. And and and, and so that that's agrees on Erica so far, right? You guys? Yeah, with Yesenia. And then with who? Yesenia. Yesenia Garcia? Yeah. Yeah. But oh. you have to get her on board because I'm already yeah, yeah, ready yeah, yeah, to yeah, talk yeah. about you the topic. Get her on board. I know, no, no. I wanted you guys to be working in groups, especially if, if you guys are already connected. Okay, so I got okay, so I got you guys in this group, Yesenia, Grisha, and Erica, at least. Did you guys connect with Jessica or Deborah Chang yet? You Erica or Grisha? Uh no. Okay. Those are the other ones. So uh, so far, I'll have you guys be in um be in this group, the three of you, okay? And then I'll organize it in the background, and then I'll start sending you a text so that I have to I have to change it in the in the canvas as well. But I have to change to my spreadsheet so far. Okay. You guys, okay. okay. So that's good. And then, do you, Nino? Do you you guys have you guys talked about a topic yet? Yeah, Jessica suggested that we do sciatica, um, oh, sciatic good. nerve pain, which I am absolutely fine with. Um, she wants to do question three and I'm happy to do question one. So that would put Anna at question two. Um, okay, good. So you do question one. Yeah. And I can help with those ones too. Uh, did you guys connect with Anna yet? Do you know? Not yet. I'm responding to Jessica mm -hmm. in our discussion group now and I'll wait for the text and follow up okay, again. Okay, good. So I'll send out that text as soon as we finish off. Thank you. So that's perfect. And I can also help you guys with that. That's one of those things I do a lot with people, okay, in my practice. So Oh, rad. Even sure better. We can have a call on that too if you want. Same as um, muscle strain down in the calf, Grisha and Erica. Jessica is excited to talk about um, acupuncture as an alternative method to treatment. Very good topic. Yeah, very, very good. Mm -hmm. Excellent. So then that's how that goes. So you guys now start. Uh, I know that was a little bit um, uh, individual, but those are the discussions. I want you guys to reach out to each other and make uh, solidify a disease, a pathology. You can text me and I'm going to start be more interactive with the text versus just a canvas on that too, to guide you guys. And now once you have, once you agreed and these you guys are already we approved those pathologies so you guys can go to town and start working okay okay and um you know and then you guys don't have to worry about answering this i mean you can answer the pathology project introduction but i just have to at the end go back and make sure everybody gets the point who's who's gone to these steps okay i'll i'll right? take care of that on behalf of my group now and just get that submitted so you can grade yeah, it yeah, yeah. so you know and i often i do those then in the background afterwards because it becomes individual um, um sort of work and and again you know this is a group project but i will also when we get to the grading i will definitely look at each other's you know what individual everybody gets graded so uh, for for I know the people who are on the call are definitely on the on the ball, but uh, if there's group members that are like lazy and don't do anything, and others think like, oh my God, I'm carrying everything and they don't do anything, well, you know, then we will we will account for that. But what I do want the group to be be supportive of each other, like help each other with technology, for example, if somebody's good at making PowerPoints or uh, Google Points or whatever they call them, uh, you know, whatever format you use doesn't matter, but then help each other with the technology a little bit, because that stuff is not hard to do really at the end of the day anymore for most people. And then also I want to be a little involved as well and help you out um, with the technology, but also then with, with things like, um, you know, making, bringing pictures in and making it a, a presentation that then at the end you can make a video out and have, you know, pictures of worth a thousand words kind of mechanism. Um, and I want you, each group, to at least have one meeting with me in the next few weeks as we work on this. So the next couple of weeks we do a draft and then the following couple of weeks we work that draft a little more and then make a video out of it. And then we post that video. And then the last week, 
we look at each other's video or a few of each other's video videos, the ones that are interest us, and then we do some some discussion on that, a little commenting back and forth. Is that making some sense now, more and more? Yes, Anyone? that was, I found that to be extremely helpful. Okay. Yeah, it's a somewhat a fluid process. It's a little challenging since we're not in the classroom, uh, many of us. Uh, but once we're getting on board, I have students, especially the ones who put some effort in and they communicate with each other. They're getting some really cool stuff done. And it's really, it's a, it's a good project that people seem to like it at, at the end. So just, you know, reach out to me, get me involved. And then at some point, sooner or later, we're scheduling, you know, a Zoom call with, with the group members and make sure everything is working out okay. Okay. That was easier than expected. So, well, with only three of you on the call, that you know, it's not. A, I don't have to make sure a whole class understands. You seem to be pretty on top of it. So, if you you uh, listen uh, and you don't understand what we just talked about, or it gotten too boring, reach out to me and I can guide you. There's not a problem. Um, this week and also the tests I'm finishing up. Hopefully today, grading the test. Mm -hmm. Um, if you listen to this later and you have not been able to do the test, please, and you feel like you're behind and it's hard, please reach out to me so I can guide you. We can have meetings together to, 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 to get you up and get you along. I'm fully aware that online classes are really hard, especially to keep on track. Um, and we have some time, but uh, this is the time when we want to kind of get the rain's in and it's get moving, so we're not at the end. Where, where are week 10 right now? We're on week 11 right now. So this oh. week we finished up the blood and the immune system. I think last, yeah, 30th here. Um, I did, you know, Nina, thank you, you know, and I go through these health kits. And of course, uh, you were the one originally telling me to the ones you have to do a week of something, they should be due a week later. And I'm like, I keep forgetting still. So I just changed this day to next week. So you, because this is the blood pressure mm. thing where we do salt counting. And oh. I'm really happy because when I went to the doctor, um, I thought my blood pressure was high. And um, when he took it a second time, it was like 129 or 83 or something. And it was just fine from his perspective at my, for my age at, in, in the early fifties. And what did he say? He says, you know, take it. And if it goes over 135 and 85 too consistently, then you can talk to me and watch your salt intake. That's the regular doctor, what he said. So what I want us to do, understanding that if he tells me that, that's probably one of the biggest things we can do from a, you know, besides activity increase that helps with everything and make sure, try to work on our weight if it's too excessive. But, you know, I'm, I'm not a big one on, too big one on that. I personally feel like it's. I love that you're telling us that on Halloween when we're all going to eat a bunch of candy. Huh? Say it again. I love that you're telling us that on Halloween when we're all probably going to eat a bunch of candy. Oh, that's right. It's Halloween. Happy Halloween, everybody. I, 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 um, I, I feed the squirrels in the morning. And so I send my daughter a picture and I put a, what are you for Halloween? And I put a squirrel emoji and not emoji and somebody running emojis. I'm a squirrel, not runner. So I feed the squirrels. <laughs> so that's my Halloween costume. Yeah, well, you can eat candy. Just don't eat salted candy for this exercise, right? You know, um, uh, because what I want you to do, I want you to go through reading that health kit thing and just get some ideas since blood pressure is one of those things that we're as a society kind of suffer under. But then I want us to kind of be mindful by monitoring what we're reading in terms of salt, you know, look at the labels. And most of the time, you know, salt is really the bad stuff, salt stuff wise is really what they put in the, in the manufactured foods and what we get from the restaurant foods. If we add some salt to our own foods, they generally say, you know, that is not really where the biggest culprit comes from. I mean, we can be excessive, of course. But I want us to be a little mindful and just monitor the salt intake. And so that was actually due uh, before was due on the 30th, but I moved it to the 6th. So we have this week to do that. All right. What are you guys going to be for Halloween? You're going to go out? 
I actually um, was a skeleton with my fam. If you guys want to see it, just because we're in anatomy class, um, I kept telling everybody what bones were showing. <clears throat> That's awesome. I'll show you. You have a picture? Sec. Oh, yeah. So this is, hold on a sec. Can you share or no? See. Oh, look at that! <laughs> oh my lord, that is so cute. It's even color coded, huh? Mm -hmm. And she's got a belly full of candy. <laughs> Her heart says boo. <laughs> that is very cute. How old is and this then, guy? Oh boy. And then we got one more. I'll just show you one of, we went to a skeleton party. Oh, nice. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's technically tonight, Halloween. Yeah, right? Yes. Yeah. I see we didn't have that growing up. We had something called New Year's Eve parties for 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 kids. That was the last day before Christmas. We would be able to get up at four in the morning and make noise outside. And nobody would care. Oh, well, my lord, look at that. She's so cute. Mm -hmm. Oh my <laughs> god. I love it. I love it. Yeah, I remember those times. I should go find the pictures when my 20-year-old now was that age. <laughs> Goes fast. Watch out. Be, a, mm -hmm. be, be all present for it as much as you can, right? What, what about you guys? Are you doing also something for Halloween? Tom, Tom. I don't celebrate holidays. Oh, you don't? Oh, yeah. Well, I probably don't really either, especially this one. We, I, I don't really do the Thanksgiving. That's one of the cultural ones that just kind of like it was really cool, but it, it wasn't anything I had. So, um, in terms of the rest that we're doing this week, so the health kit is what we just talked about, and then we are in week eleven. We're moving, and look at that. We got a few chapters. These are sort of smaller little bit chapters they don't really have laps to them um the endocrine system is the hormones that basically goes <clears throat> oops it's slow that goes through the different glands and what the different glands do in the body um so i want you guys to go through that and then maybe next week we'll have a call a talk on it i don't know how that works. We can I organize it at this point like that, Nino and Grisha and Erica, if you want, because mostly it's you guys on the call. So we can, you know, on the act live call and we can do that that way. You guys. Oh, did you have any questions to materials that we had last week or previous weeks? I know we're, you know, not everybody on the same week right now. No? God, I shouldn't have gone in there. I don't know why my computer is so slow. I don't have anything open. I gotta, huh, gotta go figure out what's wrong with my machine. <clears throat> Let me just go back to the modules and not go into these separate things. So the endocrine system talks about the hormones and you have a quiz over it and then, um, or questions over it. And then the um, integumentary system talks about the skin. That's a fairly small chapter. However, the skin is the largest organ in the body. So we want to be very mindful of that and, and um, <clears throat> um, pay good attention. We talk mostly about the layers that it's made up and what is in the layers and what it does. And so that, and then the last chapter in this coming week, this material is the beginning of the nervous system. And so what we're talking in there is we talk about the, um, microanatomy, the, 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 the anatomical part of the neuron. What is a neuron made of? Um, and we also talk then about the nerve impulse on the uh, physiology side. And we'll talk about how a nerve impulse is created. And what we're going to learn is that a nerve impulse at the end of the day has a lot to do with transferring charged molecules across the cell membrane. Uh, charged molecules going in and out of a nerve. And that's how 
a nerve impulse is is generated generally and so it goes through the process of that a little bit and and what i want to do is i want you guys to um you know if you can even if you're behind if you could do that last chapter the nervous impulse part the fundamentals of the nervous system if you could prioritize that for this week because then maybe next week you guys could come with questions and we could um, have a discussion about things to make sure and, and maybe have a little lesson on that. Because that's on this next chapter, chapters from physiology perspective, that's usually one of the, you know, like the muscle contraction. It's one of those things that's a little more challenging to understand at first. Um, we'll, and then because after that, we go into the brain and the brain is pretty much like, what's this part of the brain do? What's this part of the brain do? And so forth. And so that's a little bit more straightforward. Then. It's a fair amount of information, um, but it's, it's much more straightforward. How do you guys uh, feel about that? I can make sure, prioritize, um, you said the, one more time, the nervous the fundamental of the nervous system. Yeah, I that sounds good to me. Maybe what you want to do is is when you send out the text with this video is mention that to everyone. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. <clears throat> Just because if in case they don't watch the video, they'll still know. Mm -hmm. Because then we can talk next week about about that. Yeah. A little bit more and you guys can come up with some questions but that way is if he's if you already get exposed once before we talk about it it it's just it just more, makes much more sense okay all right cool what else is there i think that's it let me see let me go back to sharing here i think we're back to seeing the module thank god god I, i've been making a bunch of videos i hope i'm not over taxing my computer here it's a brand new computer. All right, if I go to week 11, which is where we are. Oh, look, it's not showing it. No, 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 no. Now we get, so this is the three. So this is the one I want you to prioritize if you're running behind and you don't get to do all of them. All right, and then, <clears throat> oh, and then this one, actually I got to move to a week later because we're not, doing i'm going to move that to the next one um and then basically what we're having here for the laboratory part is research on the on the pathology project this week we don't have any labeling and coloring for this stuff we're going to get back to that when we get to the brain we have a fair amount of stuff in the brain all right yeah that all sounds good so we we figure it's all done that's all we got to do this week you just you know get a little lost in the in your research and, and get lost in the internet instead of whatever sometimes TikTok or something we do and, and research a little bit sort of a similar process in that way it's just not algorithmic all right and and make sure when you research keep the copy and paste the the, the, the references on a document that way you have a reference for it all right good that's it. If there's nothing else, I wish you guys a wonderful week. Thank you, um, Gresha, Erica. I'm gonna miss you both in lab. I know it's kind of weird, right? We gotta miss you too. <laughs> <laughs> um. By the way, well, you know, if you guys have have a need to uh, talk about um, uh, more schooly stuff and want to have a little session, just shoot me a text. We'll do something off the books. You know, it's so fine. Yeah, and Gresha, I just put my telephone number in the, I sent it to you in the chat. So if okay. you want to text me directly, I'm super down. Okay. Cool. Oh, and thank well, you. And, uh, Thanks, Doc Muley. Okay, thank you guys. Have a wonderful okay, week. Okay, bye everyone. Bye. Bye. <laughs> bye.